I we're live. <laughs> it's not live. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, so my bad. You were saying about your last time flying, or what were you? Oh yeah, we were talking about flying in crazy situations. So I had a crazy situation where I was flying with Silver Airways, and I've never I went even to get heard on. of Silver Airways. I dude, I hadn't heard of them prior, and I was like, um, okay, I'm I'm about it. Let's go. So we're sitting there, and they're they're like, all right. Here's your row, whatever. We start getting on the plane. We start boarding. And they go, sir, stop. Just wait. And I was like, all right, bet. So I start, I just wait. And then the whole plane fills up. And I was like, can I get on the plane? They're like, well, no, it's full now. I was like, wait a minute. No, what? No, 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 no. no, I was like, but you just told me to stand here and wait. What do you mean it's full now? And they're like, yeah, no, it's full. And I was like, all right, well, whoever's in my seat has to get off because I have a plane ticket with my, with a seat. So. Yeah, long story short, they ended up giving it to me. But I was like, are you kidding me right now? I'm going to see my grandparents, and they're not doing well, so we need to hurry this up. That's a a different level. No, sir, wait. The plane fills up? That's, wow. I was like, did you just, did you, did you, what did I do to you? (laughs) (laughs) They, like, they, like, bullied you out of a seat. Like, what the fuck? They did. They were like, you, you wait. And then they were like, stand by. Come on in. (laughs) I was like, can I get on? They're like, no, you waited too long. (laughs) (laughs) What? Yeah, that's uh, that's budget flying for you, man. It's <laughs> funny too, cause like that. yesterday I'm 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 sitting outside like the Spirit Gate, right? And like we're in this big ass gate, so it's not just Spirit flights. So I like as mm-hmm. everybody is is huffing and puffing and trying to figure out what the fuck to do, I go over to Delta, like which is you know a couple feet away, just to kind of ask questions, cause the Spirit people are bogged down and assholes and the rest of. Them. Yep. And I asked Delta. I basically explained the situation to the to the uh, I guess flight attendants or terminal attendants there, and uh, long story short, they're like, "Oh yeah, we don't do that. We're not spirit." But- <laughs> <laughs> I shit you God. not. I'm like, so what would you guys do in my situation? And they're like, "Honey, I wouldn't fly spirit." Oh my God. That that's real, and that's real. And they're like, yeah. All right. I think this is my this is my first and last time ever doing it. Yeah, no, I mean you you live and learn, right? That's what they always say. Yeah, live, live and learn. I'm not put it like this. I don't I don't regret the experience because now it gives me motivation to fucking buy a private jet. <laughs> but you big know, facts, fuck spirit, big facts, fuck, fuck spirit. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, isn't there? I think Lil Pump has a song about that. He has a song <laughs> called has "Fuck a Spirit." Lot of That's hilarious. About that. <laughs> No, you know what it is? It's not even it's not even low pump. His is uh uh like Southwest, but uh Bad Baby, if you remember that Cash Me Outside, that girl, she became a rapper and yeah, she yeah, got, yeah, yeah. she's she's got a line in one of her tracks that's and fuck spirit. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem, man? I mean, but now I know after flying spirit, I was like, Oh, okay, yeah, fuck spirit. I agree. No, she would have some bullshit line like that though. That's hilarious. I mean, I'm sure she got paid money for it. I mean, if she knows what she's doing, she did. You think, you think really, yeah, you really think Spirit is paying people to say fuck Spirit? That'd be funny. No, I'm thinking that other airlines are paying people to say fuck Spirit. <laughs> it's a smear campaign for the airlines. Yo, that'd you know? be hilarious, bro. <laughs> it's That's, like Jet, Jet Blue mean, is like, yo. Anything's possible. Jet Blue just throwing out hundreds of thousands. <laughs> Going to influencers, like, I'm going to need you to say fuck spirit <laughs> on <Yeah>. on camera <laughs> it's like it's like a stage like somebody's clearly holding a camera for them to say it and they're like who's stop that's too much <laughs> it's professional lighting hell yeah <clears throat> i'm trying to um pull up the stream on my phone so i can make sure we're good to go but we can keep it moving while we're doing that this is essentially like at, i'm pretty sure we already know it's going to work but after you know all the Tech aspects and sound aspects and visual aspects of this stream. I work. just want to see what I look like, if I'm being honest. Uh, I got you. I just, I just want to, I just want to look at myself now. But uh, I'm lucky because yeah. I can see myself on the big screen right there. That's awesome. I'm jealous. Now I'm really excited for this track, man. I, uh, I was working on it earlier today, and uh, I, I. So sometimes when I'm working on music, I get in the zone but you would think it's all the time but it's not sometimes it feels like work Mm. because it is Mm -hmm. um but this time man i just like into it man i was like wide-eyed and just like locked in and then i was like wait how much time has passed oh crap i gotta send this out but yeah yeah, i I really i really mess with this one no this is definitely this is definitely one of them i'm glad that you um 
one, I'm glad you put the work into it. That's beautiful. Two, it's dope that like it happened to be the sound I resonate with, like the kind of like West Coast boppy nature. You know? Right? That's far. That's fate. That's fate. I'm, I'm saying, it, bro, you, that's what I it feels that like. Sample totally random. Hell yeah. But this shit is too far, bro. I'm thinking, I, I don't know if I want to. Um, I wrote a little bit. It might be just enough to like fill up a verse length of space and then I'll loop the hook one more time. I'm going to see what, what what I wrote fills up and then I'll determine what I want to do. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. I want to see if it does. Let me see some. Okay. Should be all good to go. It's funny, like, sometimes I, I wrote a bar in Spanish, right? Just, like, one bar. Okay. <laughs> and, like, the way that I – when I speak Spanish, like, when I when I have either a conversation or when I have to say one or two sentences in Spanish or just any time Spanish comes out of my mouth, it mm-hmm. sounds – one, it doesn't sound like where, I'm, where my people are from. I'm from L.A., but I'm Puerto Rican. I got you. Right? So, like, the Puerto Rican accent is a lot faster um and a lot like lower and rougher than traditional mexican accent or i guess yeah the mexican accent would be most common where i'm at in la and i think where you are too mm-hmm. um definitely definitely yeah. <laughs> yeah. so it's weird because like i i am what i am and i you know resonate more with the hispanics around me than i do with the hispanics mm-hmm. in my own culture you know interesting yeah so every time i speak spanish it's like very People always say I sound, um, I don't sound Puerto Rican when I speak Spanish. But that makes sense though, because influence of environment has, there's a lot of influence in the environment in terms of like how you sound. Yeah, absolutely. It's on a, on another weirder note, people tell me, what do you think? A lot of people tell me like when I talk, I sound like I'm from the South. The you are, South? Like, you are, like, I guess deep South, like that's the impression people get. Like, so not Texas, but more like, like Louisiana, like, like, like Florida or Louisiana. I don't think like, I sound yeah. like I'm from Florida, but not Louisiana. No, not. Louisiana is very distinct, but Florida is very distinct. But like, I don't know. Just, just like the South in general. I I can see that you have a draw for sure. There's a draw. That's to what your, I'm saying. But like, slang. I don't know where it comes from. Depends on the music you listen to. If you listen to uh, like East Coast, South, like Southern hip-hop type stuff but you listen to west coast music i do listen i mean yeah that's that's why it's we like the people that raised me are all from here um we have relatives occasional like spotted relatives down there but if there's nothing like i don't speak to them for real um mm-hmm. like it, it always just sound like somebody really like didn't believe i was from la and it was just i don't know it was weird I, I mean, so LA is funny because I feel like the people that are from LA, you don't really see out a lot. So when you do see someone from your LA, you're like, no, nah, dude, you're full of it. You're not no, from for LA. Sure. No, like, where are you really from? I hate that shit. It's, I mean, I don't hate that shit, but it's like, I was having this conversation with, with somebody earlier. Um, like, I resonate, I was just in New York, as you know, and I resonate more with the people in New York because... Like in Los Angeles, people, most people, like you just said, come here. They're not from here. Mm-hmm. And they get the impression that the city is supposed to make it for them. <laughs> yep. You know yeah, what I, mean? I got that. Um, yep. New York is, is the same hustle and bustle, the same like big city life, even bigger city life, more compact. But it's it's less... It feels less like you're supposed to be handed something, and more like you're supposed to go out and work for it. Um, yeah, it's like a com- it's a community that's all working towards like a common goal of like success, whatever that means. Yeah, to it's you. it's definitely like the way I describe New York would be like L.A. If everybody had somewhere to go and nothing to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. You see what I'm saying? That's really good. Like that's yeah. that's literally what it is. But that's spot on. So I I don't know. I feel like being from here. I am the outlier because I'm more in essence, like a New Yorker. Like I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to do shit. I always got something to do and I try to stay sober too, but you know what I'm saying? Like 
I'm always focused on something, whereas the general consensus vibe, whatever you want to call it, in LA is like, I'm, well, I'm just waiting on that call, like, you know. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it, but I'm going to make it from my house and someone's going to call me. And they're just right, gonna... right, right, right. Like, I did that one audition, or, and, like, I might get called back. Yeah, like, well, no. there are, yeah, they already, they did that one thing, and then there, you should just know me. Have you followed me on Instagram? <laughs> yeah. Have you seen my OnlyFans? Seriously? You know what I thought about doing? <laughs> Don't say OnlyFans. <laughs> okay, but look, um, not OnlyFans, but using the, using the app, I thought about, like, setting up an account with the, with a girl, right? Not me, but, like, it's just the girl's face on there. It, mm. it looks like her it's you know it's all her whatever whatever but it's an ai face <laughs> no even better when you pay you get my music i mean so i feel like that's what only fans was supposed to be but it kind of went in a different direction sure but i like that so <laughs> i yeah, think i like that i but, think that's like where patreon is right now yeah i was gonna say like why don't we do patreon because i feel like patreon if you really wanted to do like a mixture of only fans and music you could be like what are you going to get this week? Is it going to be pictures of my feet or is it going to be music? Like, <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, Yo, bro, this was so funny. I was... market of feet pics out there. That's wild. That's so wild. The feet pic market is, cra- is is booming too, which is terrifying. But I'm just I'm just upset that I'm not a part of it. That's all. Low key, I'm missing out on profit. But that's a different story. Some sexy feet, god damn it. <laughs> Yo, know, some some bitch really told me I had like the ugliest feet she ever seen. I said, That's good. I don't want to be on OnlyFans. I said, That's good. Right? I mean, look, that just that narrows down your options so that you don't have to think about other things. Yeah, like, yes, music, music is my thing then. I, I don't have to be tempted for, from feet money. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no, for real. So I, I was a little hurt though, but it's okay. It's all right. You know what? She's just hating. She She's wanted your feet. She just hating. She wants Let's her feet look like mine, so it's okay. But yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> Two peas in a pod with your feet. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? What's it called? Like the the OnlyFans trap is is like is very funny to me because it's like people girls will have it's like it's like Facebook in terms of a real click conversion. Like if a girl has a has a Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. And she has 2000 followers, right? Um, and then she goes and makes OnlyFans, most probably 300 of those people are gonna click on her OnlyFans. Now, yeah. say, it, this is why I equate it to Facebook, cause it's like Facebook, has similar numbers when it's say like an artist who has a decent following and then he like drops merch or or mm, like sells a vinyl okay. album like people actually want to buy shit on facebook whereas you know if, if if i was to put music at, out on instagram 10 people give a fuck you know what i'm saying hmm it's an interesting perspective yeah but i think that that might be like one of the highest social media conversion rates in terms of girls selling pussy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I mean, they got it. They got to figure it figured out. See, what the, the whole thing in life is you just figure out what you're good at and you just do that one thing. That's I mean, hilarious. that's what Campbell's Soup did. That's what that's what OnlyFans did. So you just like, you just, that's your thing, man. You take your niche and you drive it down to China. That is, well, that is depending hilarious. on where you're in the in the world. Uh, China's below me. I don't know where's, what's below Can you. you? I don't think you can drive to China, bro. Yeah. No, I meant like drive like a drill, but even then, ah. we're, if we're talking like scientifically, that's not possible. But you know, I have a huge imagination, so I'm I used to, I used to really believe that that was like a thing. Like, you know what I, mean? I thought. I mean, until yeah, I mean, until you realize that the like the bottom three layers of the earth are impossible to get through. Sure, but who cares? And know? then there's magma. Okay. We have the magic school bus. We'll make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I used I used to have like a magic school bus. That used to be my shit, bro. I call my auntie Miss Fizzle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah. what's it called? I used to have, like, an irrational fear that if I was to step on, like, a, a, a very weak part of the ground, I would fall through the earth. So you wouldn't be wrong if you were in ice. Like, if there was, like, ice everywhere, like, if you were walking around on a glacier? No, example. but, like, literally, like, out the other side. 
Oh, out the other side. Damn, that's that's some intense fear. I man. thought I was gonna be like in a tunnel, like ah, like. <laughs> <laughs> when is it gonna end? Like long. You pop out on the other side, like. Whoop. I mean, like <laughs> just land on your feet, like holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be actually really fun, though. I'm, Imagine I, if I that was like want... a mode of transportation. I mean, that's some Futurama level shit, man. With the <laughs> with the tubes, just it's a series of tubes. <laughs> It would be on future. Damn, that's Hell that yeah. just brought back some memories, bro. That was such a good show. Which one, Futurama? Hell yeah, it's still on. You can still watch it. It's on Hulu. It's, isn't, I'm it watch like, it. isn't it? I'm done. Watch it tonight. Are they done with new episodes? Are they still doing this? You know, I think they are. Though you're right. Yeah, yeah. that would make sense. Who's your favorite but, character? Oh God, um, it's either Bender or uh, or Fry. Man, they're both they're both pretty funny. I think um, you can't. Oh, Scruffy. Nope, Scruffy, Scruffy for sure. The janitor. You can't beat. You can't beat. <laughs> Fucking Snips, whatever his name is. Whatever the, the fuck his name is. Clamps. Name, Clamps. Oh, no. You're talking about Zoidberg? The, the, oh, yeah. The no, duh. Zoidberg. Yeah, okay. I thought you were talking about the, the dude with the, the mafia dude with the Clamps. Clamps. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Clamps. He's got the Clamps. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no, he's Zoidberg. Oh, yeah, Zoidberg's the shit. Zoidberg's really good. Uh, Scruffy because he's one of those characters that has like the most random one liners, and you're like, What the? I forgot you were a character. Yeah, true, bro. I, I recently like saw my dad showed me this. He's like, Um, there's this college using Hypno Toad to like hype up games. Okay, all right, right. This, I'm gonna this, have that, to look into that. It might work. I mean, I'm not against it. I mean. It, and then he showed me like the video that they play. <laughs> it like it made me sad that I'm in college. Like it was like this. Ow. It was like this is what my people are entertained by. Oh, it gets worse. Um, I promise you, it gets worse. It, it's only going downhill. The inter the entertainment bar is set so low. What do you think is is your equivalent of that in life? Like you see something and you're like, oh, this is bullshit but then people are just wildly entertained by it oh, oh i could this is something we're gonna have to have a separate episode on because that's <laughs> i can unpack that forever no. but uh for my first thought is uh it's just like the new iphone for example okay. like just yeah. like new technology i mean so i love new technology I, that's not a really good example because i buy a lot of new technology like nfts that are like sure. most people be like that's silly but no i i think Honestly, social media in the sense of um, like people who who chase uh, like that. Uh, oh, here we go. This is what I was going to say. Um, other satisfaction. I feel like when, when you seek out the satisfaction of others, like mm. I feel like a lot of people do that. They're like, they're like, ah, oh, hey, look at me. Look at me. And it's like, I, bro, I, I don't care just as much as you don't care. That's something that I think that for me <laughs> is like. It took me a long time because we all have egos, right? Sure. And, and having an ego is just it's it's innately human. But I feel like the part of part of growing up is being like, oh, yeah, it's it's about other people, too, not just me. And that's I feel like a lot of people are just life is hard and they get stepped on. People get stepped on a lot. So at yeah. the end of the day, it's about them. And I get it. Like, it's about you for sure. But me, me, me is a, is a very common thing that I feel like. Um, a lot of people are drawn to for, for me. I'm like, ah, that doesn't do it for me. Cause like, I've already been about me for like 30 years now. So like, I don't know, let's try something else. I feel that. I yeah, think... That seems kind of deep, but. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm always with the deep shit. Um, I was kind of, I, I have this conversation regularly, but I think a lot, like you kind of said, a lot of people want to live somebody else's life. Ooh, that's you know? a good way to put it. And, that's a really good way to put it. Yeah. And, and whether you're religious or not, um, you're not supposed to live somebody else's life. I'll just put it that way. You are you are who you are because you're supposed to be who you are. Yeah, your you know? experiences shape shape the person you're becoming, and no one else can can be you. There's there's only one one of you. you know? But it, it's it's best you. It's difficult for a lot of people, and I can't even like, I'm 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 knowingly biased because if I'm I'm a toot my own horn, who I am is dope as shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like. I'm I'm aware that I'm very 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 blessed in that respect. Now, it would be difficult but necessary 
if I was somebody else who objectively was a lot lamer and just had to had to be okay with like this is me this is my life I'm I'm probably as that person I'm probably very happy doing those things I like to do whether they're viewed as lame or not but as soon as I pull up my phone and I see cloudy somewhere and I see you know Rook's doing some and I see you know the people you know you know what I'm saying like or on his Drake doing some Uzi doing some Elon Musk doing some I'm gonna feel like less than I'm gonna feel like I need to be them I need to be the guy who who who's always you know doing cool shit and appreciated by everybody for being themselves right uh, uh-huh. um you when, got the cool clothes you got the the frags right. are popping bottles all the time you know right 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 but like in reality like it it's it's the hard truth but you have to be you and you have to be okay with being you you know what I'm saying? Well, that means being alone too, like How do you a, mean? a lot. <laughs> How do you mean? Well, so to really find out who you are, you have to be alone. Like you can't find mm-hmm. out who you are with other people. Absolutely. Right? So you have to Absolutely. spend time alone. And I feel like I, I can personally say I have a lot of friends or have had a lot of friends in my past. I don't really have a lot now that do this, but I've had friends in the past that have actually, they just like, they live in that mindset. They, they just, they, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's just about like, living other people's lives like we're talking about yeah i feel like there's a um you can you can speak on your your version of this for me it was the way i kind of found myself in a sense was in stages so a first stage was kind of like a breakup like separating myself from that 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 clingy toxic thing that kept me as one person um and then it kind of moved from that into being around a whole bunch of people which i hadn't really done prior because i was with this one girl and it's like the, the parties and the you know all these people yep. um and you kind of learn a, a piece of who you are i think in that environment um but the the biggest learning curve for me is absolutely like you said who are you when nobody's calling who are you when no money is in your account who are you when you have nothing no obligation right you have to either come up with one work towards something but nothing is nothing is pressing nobody Uh cares you have no opportunity without forging one for yourself what is that Uh person going to go do you know what i'm saying and then and then that's that's who you are that's what i'm saying but even even beyond like like the first thing what's what fucks a lot of people up is they they might get to that point and then they decide what they're going to go do based on what they think other people want them to or what they think they should based on the cool shit. Luckily, yeah. luckily I was I was mentally there enough to say I'm not going to I'm going to I'm going to take this and put it face down and say what does this person what does my soul want me to go do? You know what I'm saying? And that's that's kind of my version of finding myself in that I was I live for me. Obviously, I'm aware of others, and one has to be even a little bit stronger, I think, to 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 witness or to to allow themselves to kind of like watch the 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 others, to watch the people who they think are so cool, and like not live that life, you know. Um, mm-hmm. But long story short, really asking myself deeply within what what do I feel um, is my is my calling what do i feel i want to go do i kind of i almost asked myself like if i didn't have a body right now what would i want to do huh. um it's a, it's a good way to look at it yeah and my, my answer ended up you know being creative is the answer i like that that's a good point honestly like i resonate with that a lot the so for me, I, for finding myself is it took me moving away from out of my home state. So yeah. I was born and raised in Florida and I spent 30 years there yeah. and literally just out of nowhere, my wife got a job out in Texas and we moved to Texas and we didn't have any friends, no uh, family, no nothing. Yeah. And I was like, this is my chance to reinvent myself. And I, I'm not like advocating moving away because your problems are within. They're not, they're not. You're, you're, you moving away does not solve your problems, but I took it as an opportunity to to spend my time alone and not try to like instantly be like, oh, let me call all my friends and like spend all this time on the phone right. and like spend time right. living the the life that I left behind kind of thing. And and that really was my chance to find mm-hmm. myself. And like you said, like 
without so sitting in my my studio alone just like with my own thoughts that in itself is what people uh i feel like people avoid and i Absolutely. feel like that's the part where where it gets tough is it's like what are you doing like you said when no one's watching when mm -hmm. when no one's got when no one's got a gun to your head metaphorically like no one has no one has any expectations of you and you you just you're you can literally just sit and watch netflix all day long exactly and that kind of thing and 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 you know, and the other thing too is like what you're saying about like having like living the life that you think that you're supposed to live based on others like i see it every day within my family and like my friends like mm -hmm. in my mm -hmm. past like they they live like go to school get get a job that they think is what their parents want them to get and then they like have a house and then they get married and then they get kids and then they realize at 40 they're like i don't want any of this man yeah, i was bro. trying to be like a stockbroker and i just became like a boring well i don't want to say boring accountant because account accounts make bank but i just i did something i didn't want to do yeah because i thought i was supposed to and then they're miserable and like i don't know i i, I can like you were saying before like i totally resonate with a lot of it this in terms of I understand my blessings and where I'm coming from, but I also realized that I could have just sat back and done nothing and been just fine. And that is where I separate myself. Like you don't need to come from the trenches to to be proud of what you've accomplished. And I think that there's this like big, big idea that you have to like, oh man, like I came from the trench, I came from the gutter. Like, like dude, you can come from mid-tier, mid-tier lifestyle. Like you can come from middle, middle-class income and still make something and be proud of it. And it's still something that you should be proud of. Even if you come from like mega money, if you come from like big money, but you created something on your own that you can mm. call your own, like you created your own brand, you created your own business, you created your own community. Absolutely. Like that's dope. I don't think it matters where you come from. I think it matters with what you do with what you have and the mm. higher up you are, I think you have somewhat of an obligation. This ties it all the way back together. Is I think you have an obligation, the higher up you go to, to bring either bring others with you or to give back down to where you were at. Sure. Whether that sure. be going back to the, to the neighborhood you came from, or whether that means you grab your friends that are also artists and you bring them up with you. Like that's, that's kind of been my thing in the last two years since moving out of Florida is just like, not just connecting with people, but also like encouraging people to be themselves like you were talking about, because I think that a lot of us just need that encouragement to just be like, hey, man, it's cool. Like what you think is cool. I might not think it's cool, but that's OK. Like mm -hmm. you like Star Wars. That's cool. I don't like Star Wars, but that doesn't mean that you're lame because you like Star Wars. I think yeah. that's dope. You should you should make whatever that you like your life. And I think that you should get you should figure out how to get paid for your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's mm -hmm. kind of my if you like like Star Wars and you like talking about star wars you should go talk about star wars like on youtube and then make money for it like like whatever it is that you like to do just figure out a, a way to do it in a way that no one's ever done it before and mm -hmm. i think that that's a really good way to encourage yourself to be yourself and i think that even if you're not a creator choosing to create more than you consume doesn't have to be content like i'm not telling everyone to go be a youtuber i just think that if you're creating more than you consume then you're, you're going to live a much happier life because if you're sitting there like just sitting on social media like you're saying like instagram like oh let's see what all the all the cool people are doing right. cool meaning right. like like the people you look up to you're like oh my god they're and then you feel like garbage and then you put your phone down and then you just spend the next hour like well i i don't know what why i even this that whatever you know you start feeling bad for yourself and my really point. it it can it can get to you man i i literally i don't know if i said i don't think i said I literally on my phone i have this quote that uh it's a tweet it says if you're comparing your trajectory in the music industry to other artists then you're doing it wrong if your music is that original then your journey will be original too mm. sit back and focus on making music that inspires so and that was in 2019 and i've had that on my phone since that day i remember mm. i was sitting in the sauna when i read that and i was like ooh, bet um <laughs> yeah. but yeah i think that's that's kind of like the the driving force behind all of this is like be yourself but also like own your, your journey because like your journey is what's going to flavor your your gift mm. and that kind of like is the one thing that i think that is easy to say harder to do like when people say like oh you have a gift like or find your gift and like give it away kind of thing i think that that there's a real really big um like when you start doing that, it's almost like getting into a jet stream of life. Like things just start to make sense and you know you're in the right spot because doors start to open because 
they just it just feels natural and i think that that's really where where you can exponentially grow from like being this person that's just like it's like working out literally it's like working out like physically like lifting weights like for the first year you're like this sucks i'm in pain i hate it i don't see results and then at the second year you're like "Ooh, okay right, all, right, right, all right let's go and then you know you start to really find yourself and because you've built you built something that you can look back and be proud of. And I think that the more you do that, the more your self image rises. And it's kind of like a, instead of a negative cycle, it's a positive cycle. You just mm. like, you're like, Oh yeah. I mean, your, your brain is a pattern maker. So just I make think, it make good patterns. by doing that, I agree damn near with everything you just said. I, it is, um, what I want to say it is very much about, about a pattern. Um, but the tricky part about that is, not not letting it become a routine you know mm. i think for me some like how do i put this we all we all seek comfortability right mm. and mm -hmm. to a certain degree that's okay like you can you can go after being comfortable um but never let comfortability turn into complacency mm -hmm. that's definitely yep. one of the one of the key things in my life and just like you said bro the desire to make something of yourself the desire to figure out what it is that 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 really drives you what your calling is and how you can turn that into something tangible um and really just just being open to learning those things you know, I think it, at, at, a, at a base level, it kind of stems from, you know, you have to know yourself before mm, you can you know, know yourself to grow yourself. Right. Bro. You have to know yourself before you can know anything else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, so, you know what, like one of the, one of the main things that really influences my life, probably one of the biggest things that influences my life is um, never, never doing something without a reason. Mm, now yeah, that that's powerful. that reason can be it doesn't have to be financial it doesn't have to be you know physical it doesn't have to be anything but but i need to understand why i'm doing this thing and then that the that's thing crazy. i'm doing isn't necessarily beneficial i have to realize that i have to i have to come to grips with tonight is going to be a fuck off type of night I'm not, mm. I'm not going to lie to myself and say tonight where I go to see this chick and go to the club or whatever is going to, is, is like, I'm having fun. This is what I like. You know what I mean? Like, no, I'm doing this because I, I might need a break. I might just want to release. I might, whatever. But like, I'm releasing demons. You know what I'm saying? Up. Like, but I, I have to be, I have to come to grips with what my reasoning is in here mm -hmm. and in here for doing whatever. So I'm not, I can't like pursue a goal if I feel that the the overarching reason for me pursuing that goal isn't soulfully beneficial your body mind and spirit have to be aligned in order yes. for you to actually go in the right direction like yes. you, what you say do and think all have to be in alignment in order for you to like it doesn't matter if you're like you're saying you're going to the club park bay whatever do it like that's fine but like don't be like talking one thing be like oh yeah i'm doing everything this way and then thinking this way and then and then like doing different things because when you have a contradiction in life even if you're okay with it consciously your subconscious is going to eat you up and it's going to fault you and it's so crazy how our minds work like that but absolutely, you're you are bro. spot on absolutely it's, it's it really boils down to honesty like you have to be honest with yourself and understand the truth of a situation you know mm. and like wow the even even if it isn't a truth you like you have to get it you have to like i'm i'm what's it what's a simple one i'm not going to convince myself that i really you know like love this this girl when i know truthfully i'm just going over there because i'm horny yeah no, that's thing. that's easy i or, mean it's like anything yeah you that's, that's like one that for example but it relates to to everything in that respect like i'm not it's accountability that's what it is like ah there you, know, you go i learned i really learned this from my father bro like he he i look at i look at my dad and i look how he he operates within life 
and he makes so few mistakes because he holds himself accountable for everything. Nothing is everything, everything reasonably, everything within his control is taken care of because well, everything's your responsibility as a, as like a responsible adult in this terms, is what like, even if it's not your fault it's your responsibility like like just because like so for example like when i when i bought my house the first two weeks my main my water main broke mm. that's not my fault <laughs> i didn't get i got i got frustrated but do you want some water or not like you mean it's it's my responsibility, so I fixed it. Like right. that's that's what you have to do, and I feel like that's a, a big a, a big issue, and it's a, a lot easier to not. It's like it's a lot easier to do, to do the opposite. So, but going back to your your father, like it like that's so rare. That's so rare that people are accountable because it's so easy not to be. It's I can tell you whatever I want and then not do it, and there's no consequences. Absolutely, bro. It's it. it I couldn't live that way. Like that's that's another reason I'm 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 just I'm bl I'm grateful, bro. Like because if I told somebody I was gonna do something and I didn't even try, right? It's already bad enough to say I'm gonna do something and then you fuck up at it. So it, it gives you the extra <laughs> gives you the extra incentive to do it well. But if I didn't even try doing that thing, even if at a base level, I say right now to myself in this room, I'm gonna clean this room up. And then I don't mm. do it. It it bothers me, like genuinely fucks with my subconscious because I I I'm so I operate so heavily on trust and the truth. And if I can't mm. trust myself to be accountable to what I say to myself, I lost it. I can't operate. Yep. You know. I mean, you broke your word to the most important person in your life, and that's yourself. <laughs> And then you can't trust yourself and then you start doing stuff out of spite and you start breaking yourself down and you're like oh why am i doing this exactly bro. but yeah yeah it's a hell of a Damn, that's deep, dude i love that i like how this started from spirit airlines all right yeah fuck spirit fuck spirit <laughs> <laughs> make some music fuck spirit let's make some music fuck spirit let me see what this one fuck spirit <laughs> I'm not getting paid yet. I can't, I'm not getting paid enough yet. I can't do that. I, I, didn't, I didn't get paid for that. I promise this is not a sponsorship. And now for a moment from our sponsors. <laughs> fuck Spirit. It'd be like we're saying fuck Spirit. Now a moment from our sponsors. Spirit Airlines is one of the best. Spirit Airlines. You're going to fly comfortably. Like you said. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so ready. Hell, yeah. All right. Let me see what I can do here. I'm going to play this one time through and then kind of yeah, break it down. Let's see. It's under the way of my head of fun Say you don't give a fuck I'm cool to my demons Cause I've been all over the place That I used to go Cause people we on the show Funny with my thoughts Like I can say you want to know But I don't know You're just a little soul Trying to give up If I told you that You didn't mean nothing You feel like I was wrong Well you can tell me I'm wrong I think, I think, it's gonna be like three or four takes. Let's see what I can do. I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Don't let it be Uh, 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 yeah. Hey, felt like I was wrong. Starting to let the weeks pass like I wasn't strong. We could make it. See, it's gonna be more than, more than four already. All right, all right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah, it's not, I started to let the weeks pass. Pat me like, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Felt like I was wrong. Starting letting weeks pass me. Like I wasn't strong. We could make a 10 piece before we make a song. But I need to make it big, not just make it home. Yeah. Ah. Boom. See what that sounds like. Yeah. Felt like I was wrong, starting letting weeks pass me like I wasn't strong. We could make a 10 piece before we make a song, but I need to make it big, not just make it hard. Yeah. Logic is 
ultra slow right now. Okay. All right, let's make it happen. Let me get an intro. In the weeks past, like I was a strong, we could make it. If I we make a song, yeah. Show me some my ill too, baby. I'm gonna give you the world. Be patient, stuck in my head, but never in the matrix. You get a dressed up, I get a naked. My whole shit just went black, both screens. <laughs> that's impressive. Huh? I said, that's impressive. Right? Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah, no. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Is you this gotta come back. I don't know. Is the stream still going? Yeah, I'm fine. You just so now it's just it's just the background or the backdrop now. Interesting. Okay. I am I am on my way. And now from a mo, a mo for our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that would be oh, the perfect God. time. Spirit Airlines has canceled the stream. So now, as 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 our sponsors would do, we have canceled the song. The song's no longer happening. You're not getting compensated. You can still subscribe if you want to. We're going to take your money and give you nothing. Thank uh, you. Subscribe and we'll take all your money. No, um, no, that's that's only half true. We'll take half your money. <laughs> well, no, we only charged you. We only charged you fifty nine dollars. What did you expect? True. True. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, to be fair, I've flown with Spirit um, and actually had uh, a few people. I, you know, what I wonder is if people can hear you. What do you mean? Oh, oh they can. Dope. Okay. I just can't see you. That's the only thing. So your video is out. I Wait, just my video is like, out. I, I can hear you. Well, can you... I can hear you, and people can hear you because I can see it coming through on the audio. But okay, can you see the doll? Mm -mm, I can't see anything. No. Uh... I, uh, did you did you open up a new window? Do no. you need to resend me the code? Do I need to resend you the code? I didn't open. It, I just opened it back up, and it was right back where I left it. Interesting. Let's see. Okay. Well, I cannot see. Bada -bing. Bada -bing. You. Up here. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Are we back? Oh, we're back. Okay, now I need to do this. Beautiful. Hold on. We back like we never left. Beautiful. All right. E. I think I'm going to do that one more time. Let's see. All right. Yeah. Yeah, show me some I ain't used to, baby. I'm gonna give you the world, be patient, stuck in my head, but never in a matrix. You get a dressed up, I get a naked. I'm putting my laptop through the ringer right now. Damn. I don't know what is going on. You gotta get you like a cooling fan for your laptop or something. For real. I don't know if this is even gonna work, bro. I think I remember my old MacBook had a fan and I got a program that would mod it to like go fast all the time. Mm -hmm. And I, I kid you not, it would improve my performance by double. The fan did? Yeah. Cooling off your MacBook. If it's, if it's older than like 2016, 
No, bro, this is like, like a, a 20... this is like a 2020 computer. Oh shit, never mind then. I don't even know if I don't think those have fans. I had a 2012. That's why I say that. Ah. My 2012 <laughs> had, ah. had a helicopter inside. Gotcha. <laughs> Not a helicopter. Ooh, you can add it too early. It's gonna take another five minutes to fix it. Uh, this is arduous right here. This is Can you hear me? I don't work at all, fool. That don't work, fool. Fuck, fool. Hold on. That don't work, I said. That don't work, yeah. They fuck. Who beats him, yeah? Chingado, su madre. Ew. She like my love, you the chosen one. And I believe it cause I'm on the sun. I can't let a creature leave me on. Por encima de los altercados. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Okay, it's a music way. Let's do it, fool. I now see how important a uh, standard vocal chain is and having like a, a, a set go to because you can just like rip it and you don't even have to like do anything with the setting. Oh my God, bro. That's amazing. Incredible. I used to, I used to not do that. I used to literally like, oop, every time. Oop. Yeah, no. Once you find your chain that you like, that's like you keep it and default it. That's like there's so there's a dude on Instagram that literally his whole Instagram is just him figuring out what uh, everybody's chain is and then like telling you how to how to make that chain. So like he yeah. did um, what's 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 Will Will Smith Jada 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 Smith Jaden. Jaden, yeah, Jaden. Uh, he his vocal chain is like an eleven thousand dollar vocal chain, like because the plugin between the the microphones. Well, he doesn't use Puglet. They don't use. I don't think they use any plugins. I think it's all analog. Okay, but that's that's why <laughs> it's so primo because they have like hella analog software. So he interesting. He uses a specific mic. Like so, there's different. Like, huh. Sometimes there's plugins, but. Um, the dude on Instagram tells you plugins that emulate the actual like uh, like compressors and shit. Oh, so his mic will automatically do everything I have over here. No, I'm not saying the mic. No, 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 no. No, I, no, I was just saying that there's a dude on Instagram that literally like breaks down every like famous person's chain, like their got vocal it. chain, got like got like from the, when I say their vocal chain, I mean like so. Their microphone, their compressor, their reverbs, like all of their different um, tools that they use in order to get their sound. So like T-Pain gets his sound this way and all that stuff. So, Bro, this is crazy. I didn't even intentionally do this, but I wrote just enough to loop the hook. See this? It's, it's just meant to be. I'm, I'm telling you. That's how life works. Music is, this is why I'll never leave this profession. Dude, I, I'm, I'm telling you, when, when it, when... Uh, I was saying earlier, like this track came together. It's so crazy. 
and it always does like the fact that we first did together bro it I'm, came together so i had two other rappers spit on that and i just trashed those tracks because i was like nah dude i'm not i'm not gonna use let you use my track <laughs> yeah it, it, it'd be like this i appreciate that though that's, that's love coming from you um oh no definitely dude you, you got some some heat i've been i've been in that scenario to a point like i don't i wouldn't consider myself um like a studio engineer i'm just a rapper with a studio but mm -hmm. as almost every musician trying to make it, I have been an engineer for people. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's been a number of occasions where I've had people come over. We do a song together. So it's like a like it's almost like a networking thing. Like it's a free session, but like we're doing a song. So that's why it's free. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Um, waste of time. Best description it would be like that. I, I don't, it must be because I'm very picky with music, but like some people just don't don't got it, bro. You need, you need to go back home. Yeah, yeah. I, so I think that there's. Uh, I definitely. I was very, very, very. I, I I took my time when it came to uh, being very like upfront with my music. Mm. Like I didn't start, <clears throat> I didn't start being a musician, and then the next day I was like, "Check out the song I made." I was like, "No, I'm gonna make a bunch of hot garbage first, and then you can hear it." I mean, you have to do that. Though. Like, I remember a friend of mine was like trying to make beats, and like he was he was just trying to learn on a on a phone app before he downloaded a program, right? Mm, and I mean, yeah, you can do that. It was funny because he knew he sucked, so he would. He, <laughs> He would call me every day and be like, look how not trash I am today. That's beautiful, though. You know I, I respect the hustle. No, for real. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, so the thing about it is, is like, I think that anybody can be good. Like I it? think that it goes back to what we were talking about, though. Like, I think some people just get it and some people just have a harder time getting it. And that's your learning curve. And you just got to learn it that way. And I think that that's what makes those people that and like i said from my quote from my phone is like that's that's what makes your music sound like you so i think that like if you're let's just say like you're really bad at like a specific like type of music mm. and you make that music and then you like release it mm -hmm. and then it turns out that people actually like it better the way that you made it so like for example xxx xxx tentacion the look at me song that was distorted garbage but it wasn't like i love that track but like if he were if he were over like over analytical about it and like didn't put it out um i feel like he, that would have been a missed opportunity yeah i, I feel like yeah, true. I, I feel like at the end of the day like I, I i understand where you're coming from and i agree with you i think there are just certain there are certain situations where it doesn't make sense for people to work together mm. um because it's not beneficial uh it's at least not mutually beneficial and i said this earlier um on instagram to someone i was talking to but I, I'm not interested in in one sided relationships anymore. It doesn't work for me because if it's one sided, there's always going to be an incentive for one person to do less and one person to do more. So like, define sorry, define a one, one sided relationship because I don't think I'm in any of those, but I want to understand what that. What that yeah, is. no. So in in other words, like if so, if I were to be in a in a one sided relationship, that means that. Um, like, for example, like you pay me for something and I have very little incentive after you paid me to do anything. Like, let's say you pay me to, for, for uh, music uh -huh. and, and, and I just give you like a crappy beat and I'm like, there you go. Right. Like that's the one sided relationship because you're you're not benefiting from that because I don't have an incentive to help you because you're just like, like, uh, I think that's a bad example. But I think a one sided relationship is where only one person benefits at, at the end of the day. So like, so mm, I'm trying to think. I think I get what yeah. you're saying. It's more like, like for example, if if I had less, I mean, I don't have a big following, but like if I sucked at music, I had no following, and 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 you know, was kind of just like a kid in my basement who just started making music yesterday, and was like, "Yo, Brooks, can I have a beat?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, so something like that's a perfect. That's a really good example because I think that, that anybody can learn from that experience. Is that if if somebody's just starting out and we're like drastically at different levels, like, and I'm not talking about care about following because following is just a number and you can buy followers so whatever right. but i think if 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 we're at two drastically different um production levels for example 
and we're going to collab, I think that that's a miss. Mm -hmm. um, I think because I'm going to be either slowed down by you or right. you're not going to learn as much as you could because I'm going too fast. Like I'm, I'm blazing through this session and you're not really taking much out of it. And then, or the opposite is we're not getting much done because I'm having to explain it to you. Sure. Um, which is nothing wrong with that, dude. I would, I would, I would feel better if somebody was like, yo, we're not, we're not there yet. Like if I could hit someone up for a collab, which I, I often won't do, but I have before and I, 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 I will in the future. Like mm -hmm. if I hit up Subtronics for a collab and he was like, nah, man, I'm not going to be like, bro, what the why not? I'm like, dude, he's like a, a legend right. when it comes to pr production. So like, of course it doesn't make sense because that would be one sided. I would be the one benefiting from that. He gets paid lots of money to be anywhere. So like, that's the kind of thing where it doesn't really make sense. But anyway, back back to what I was saying, that's a one sided relationship. I just, I'm just not interested in those. So like, if I'm going to collab with someone, I'm mm -hmm. going to grow from it. It's going to either be because we're making music I've never made or doing something that I want to get better at. Right. Or you're a really cool person, and I think that there's more to this than just a song. Like, right, right, right. I'm a yeah. big believer in like expanding past that. But again, it's mutually beneficial because I'm sharing my network with you, and you're sharing your network with me, and then we're sharing our music styles. Maybe we, we even share like sample libraries. Who knows? Right. But I think it should be. I think every relationship, if it's going to continue beyond a surface level, has to be mutually beneficial and not just one sided. Because otherwise, it's this is kind of a new thing for me though, because like if you go into business with someone and you're putting everything up, the, mm. your business partner has no incentive to do well. Like, like you, like if you worked a nine to five, right? Let's just say you work a really shitty nine to five. Do you own the, if you don't own the business, you're not going to work hard at it. Right. No, like of course. if you own a Burger King, you as the owner of the Burger King is the hardest working person at that Burger King. Like a, <laughs> people that work yeah. for you is not going to do I think more that's work the, than that's you. Like so that's like a one-sided relationship. That's the Elon Musk dilemma. Like he he expects the lowest ranking Twitter employee to work a seventeen hour day like he does. Is that what the whole deal is? Yes, yeah, that's that's that. essentially what it is. He like he's fine. He's like come into the office six days a week, work a minimum twelve hour days, do work when you go home. This this and this. Like bro, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna fucking do that if they're not getting what you're getting out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. You're not. They're not getting all this Tesla stock and all the other shit. Right, like, and it's on. like. Even if even if they wanted, they're probably capable of doing that. But like, if they were to do their own startup, if they were to do their own shit that they actually love to do or wanted to do or got a billion dollars a day from, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But you know, uh, it, it's it's I'm I'm on the same page as you. I think my version of that of what you're talking about is like never go into a room without something to offer. Something genuinely. Oh, yeah, like don't sit. At, don't sit down at a table with nothing to offer. Right. Yeah. 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 Like, like never. Like that. Always. Always have something, no matter how big or small the person is. Right. Like if if sometimes the people have to pitch you, but I'm less I'm less talking about that and more talking about when you have to pitch the other person. You know, even I like mean, for even example, if it's something simple, like so, like when when there's a really famous story in marketing or not marketing and business where um this interviewer went to go visit um. Wow, I just blanked. Who's the one of the most rigid people in the world? Not Bill Gates. Um, uh, Warren Buffett. Thank you, Warren Buffett. Yeah. They went to go visit Warren Buffett, and they brought him a Diet Coke or a Cherry Coke, whatever it was. I forget what flavor it is, but mm -hmm. it's his favorite Coke. And they brought that, and because they brought that into the room, and they were like, "Here," and they gave it to him, and he was like, "Okay, I only told you fifteen minutes, but they ended up talking for like an hour and a half." Because she right. brought something to the table. What are you going to offer one of the most wealthiest people in the world? Something that he doesn't already have, but it's the gesture. And I think that that can can go a long way in any situation. Like it doesn't have to be like you don't have to bring something that's like extremely financially it's like expensive, and you don't have to bring like just bring something because it shows the effort. Like I think it, a good illustration of that is if somebody breaks down on the side of the road and you see them trying to push your car, you're much more likely to get out and help because they're already doing something for themselves. Right. Then it, you are to stop and help someone who's just kind of sitting there and like not doing anything. And you're like, are you even trying? But yeah. I, I mean, I'm, no, I'm, I, I, I agree. Time. Just real quick. I don't mean to stop. I don't see us. Um, are we live on YouTube or no? So I was going to say this earlier, but I didn't want to interrupt you. We are live on uh, my YouTube. So I'll have to send the <laughs> video over okay. and upload it. Cause I didn't, I didn't realize that, <clears throat> it was logged into mine. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, we'll fix that for next time. What about Twitch? Twitch neither because we didn't set that up. Right. Okay. All right. Good to know.
but yeah but that's i mean that's why we do this so oh, good. um so what did you on your on your story what link is that because i was trying to post the same thing oh that's mine okay <clears throat> that was uh i wonder if that link will go to this after it's done it should go to your youtube yeah so go so if you go to youtube.com backslash at rooks music underscore like my uh whatever it's called um my instagram it'll be there and then if you it says live if you click on my face it'll take you straight there gotcha okay as long as we're somewhere it's all good but we can end up yeah i think this is definitely a lot more entertaining than our last one so what we can do is like when you send over the do we transfer i'll just we'll put up we'll like edit it down put up the video the long form video on on the rec center youtube and then mm -hmm. what we can do is like clip up a whole bunch of shit and post a lot of shorts um yep. <clears throat> yeah i have a yeah I, I definitely i'm down with that i'll do that for sure okay, cool. just cross my mind anyways um my bad right what was the what was the train of thought right before i said that i don't i don't remember my brain is starting to shut off but we can we can go ahead and move on <laughs> <laughs> i think um oh like having something to offer was i think the... oh yeah don't sit down at a table or go into yeah. a room without anything yeah for sure yeah uh, just it's... bring something just bring something man like <laughs> You're right. Be benefit like give before you expect to receive. And I think that the mm. that Web three like Speak. NFT communities taught me that big time. Speak. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Without a doubt. Right? Web three is very give before you get. Like yeah. In the in a good way, I think that that's in it sometimes in an unhealthy way. But you is your responsibility to make it healthy. I think. Yeah. No. If you're if you're giving if you're overextending yourself, I mean, I feel like sometimes you kind of have to do that. Not have to. Let me rephrase that. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. And it just it's one of those things. You're like, damn it, that's a learning yeah. lesson for me. I should. I feel, I should I feel like there's a. You should always have a bar. You know what I mean? Like a a bar. Have a safety. Here. Have a safe stop. Like have a right. yeah. Have right. a safety right. valve. Man. Right. Right. I'm not gonna fucking suck dick for this project, but. Um, <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I draw the line at dicks. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll make a song. You know what I'm saying? I'll make a song. I'm not going to touch it. It's <laughs> funny. Okay. Let me Let's do this magic. I'm excited. Ad lib. Oh, shit. Ad libs. Little... Yeah. Yeah. A little lib test. Okay. <laughs> Let me get lib tastic real quick. <laughs> if I really do this, I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm too much. It's a, it's a it's a hidden talent when you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm an island boy. All right, hold on. Oh, so good. Here we go. Okay, all right, serious time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, okay. Uh felt like I was who? Like I wasn't, yeah, okay. Before I make a song, not just make it, hey, hey. You soon think be patient. May treat, may treat. Thank you. Uh, okay. Me on every day, after God on love. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. One of these can have no tune on it. Work with me, work with me, work with me. Okay. All right, don't die. Here we go. Here we go. You can do it, buddy. Look at you go. Okay. This is hilarious. Uh, boom. 
It's like encouraging a turtle race. Technology has feelings too. <laughs> I'm convinced. He's mad that I've 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 beat him up. That's what he's mad about. He just needs a, a detox. That's all. You gotta clean him out. Needs a juice detox. He's been in LA too long. Yeah, right. You just gotta clean out, clean out all that gunk, man. All right, let's do it. Oh my god. Uh huh. Hey, shit. Pick it up. Made a who? Made a what? Make it home. Yeah. Baby girl. Just be patient for me. Make chicks. Chosen one. I'm on a song. Millennium. Funeral. Beautiful, think not be ill. Go, go, so fuck, fuck. No, I man it up. have a rough finished product yeah you can get an ad lib celebration yeah 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 rough bop bop boom boom straight like that bam okay good people of youtube and twitch that aren't there let's run it boom Ooh. I'm impressed. Like that. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you have a, that. You have a gift. I'm. I'm serious. Like, it's it's impressive every time. I mean, back at you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, homie. Thanks. Somebody. I, I heard. I'm, I, I heard like a um, this video about like producers talking about their relationships with artists and shit. And I think it was it was a, a tense setting, so the producer wasn't a fan of the artist. And basically, uh -huh. the 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 phrase that kept coming up was like. Nobody ever drops a acapella, bro. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. All right. All right. So that's I, true. I got respect for you. No matter how talented I am, we need y'all. Shit, back at you, man. I think that's I, that's so. I mean, I, I think the the possessed like creative creativity, community, and collaboration—the three C's. Mm. 
I think that really does like I think that represents a really good like yeah I, I, like it's a good way to live life <laughs> no for sure. for sure creativity collaboration and community it's all about those three if you don't have those three it's kind of boring and stagnant you know it's mediocre <laughs> I mean it's we did meet through them huh it's crazy yep <laughs> yeah it was on uh it was through yeah I met you. So funny, I met you in in diverse, in that same VC. Yep. Damn, that's wild. That's so bro. crazy, dude. What a fucking trip, man. Yeah. I would never. I would. The beginning of. I would never have really thought, and absolutely, it's just the beginning. So I would never have pictured in my head. I have online friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. Like, even though I've met y'all in dude. person, it's crazy to be like. I, I was never the dude who was like, I'm going to meet my Call of Duty friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was just never, I knew people like that. That was just never me. And now is, I'm I'm literally like, where'd you meet? Discord. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Not my Twitter friends. It's crazy though. Yeah. Man. No, it's, it's, that's the world we live in, man. The 20, 2020 pandemic really changed the world in a lot of ways and yeah. I, I think that that was one of the ones the major changes for me is really like doubling down on uh i hate to use the word metaverse because it's a buzzword but mm. like doubling down on just having like an online community that that doesn't just exist because if you're if you're regional like you're you're limiting yourself to like your area like if you're just a local artist you're just that a local artist like what you can't do anything with that yeah no that's very true it also i mean that's my it's it's like a weird dynamic because it makes a lot of people feel like they they can just leave and go somewhere else and make it instead of make it from the hometown um uh, which is like i'm playing devil's advocate a little bit but it, it's definitely like one of the reasons why i've chosen to to work so hard from home uh -huh. because i want to for me personally, and I think, you know, it's why a lot of people come to LA, but for me being from here, it's like, I, I, mm -hmm. for my, for my, for my own ego, really, I just need to make it in LA first. You know what I'm saying? I, I know yeah. that like I could go to Ohio and be lit. Yeah, but you're but, not, but you're not a, a local in that sense because you performed elsewhere. You perform like on VCs, you perform right. like across the world i mean i'm talking about people who who aren't even worried about like not worried that's a bad word uh who aren't even who don't have a social media who don't have like content like they don't film themselves they're just like yeah i'm gonna go play a show at a bar and it's like oh okay. uh, yeah no i got you i got you I, it's like um, yeah, that, that. yeah yeah it's definitely like no yeah. but make it make it in your hometown man there's nothing better i i don't think that there's anything better than that like quite that's honestly like making it in your hometown that's that that's a stamp of approval that you can't get anywhere else like you can, like you said you can go crush it in ohio but that doesn't really like hit like it would if you were like making it where you live I'm so saying. yeah absolutely. and especially for me like the fact that it's la i feel like it'll hit even harder because there's oh my god yeah bro everybody everybody does what the fuck i do here so you know what i'm saying uh, every, yeah everyone dude you throw a rock you're gonna hit a musician that's also an influencer that's also a fucking right. waiter right. that's also an actor that also writes fucking comedy that also can fly jets so you know. <laughs> bro on, on my flight back from new york like i met more contacts so to speak than i met the entire trip in new york because it's, it's a it's a flight from ny to la you know what I'm saying? Ah, yeah. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Movers and shakers of the world, right there. <laughs> on spirit. You know what I'm saying? On spirit, bro. They're 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 economic. That's that's what, they're just they're they're not trying to spend their money on flights. They're trying to spend it on business. <laughs> I'm mean, so funny on to me because like I literally like met like this girl with a blue check followed me and I was like, wait a minute, you're on my flight. Okay. Cool. Right? Like, wait, hold up. What, dude? I I kid you not. I'm. I was on a spirit flight and this dude had like a Louis duffel, which is not the, not the weird part. Like that's whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, he had a Louis duffel and he was like dripping, like he had a babe, babe shirt on, he had Yeezys and he had like, um, or no, Supreme shirt with, with babe shorts and mm -hmm. then Yeezy fucking shoes. on. I was like, what are you doing, man? And I watched him during the flight. Cause he was like two seats up in front of me. Mm -hmm. Turns out he's this massive rapper. And I was like, wait, what? Like, cause he was waiting for his like bag and he was like with his like, 
I guess, bodyguard security or something. I was yeah. like, yo, this dude's like something. And I went up to him. I was like, yo, what do you do, man? I saw you on the plane. Are you like a like a rapper or something? He's like, yeah, I actually am. It, but I was like, wait, you're fine spirit? What the fuck? I was just like, yeah, dude, it's just whatever. I'm, I, I was literally like, it just made sense. I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> I don't agree with that, but all right. That's but, hilarious. Yeah. I mean, sure. I get, I, to each their own. To me, to me, it's like, I, I respect living below your means to a certain degree. Definitely, but but not there. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna draw the line there. I draw the in on an airplane and like a bus and like right. Uh, like I'm not. I'm not buying. I'm not putting my shirt over my comfort. No. You know what I'm no, saying no, no, like no, if no. he paid, if he sold that shirt, he could have bought a better flight, probably. <laughs> Yeah, no, and that's that's where I kind of I'm like, mm, yeah. you know, I I get where you're coming from, live below your means, but man, if you're flying, that's a luxury in itself, and especially if you're flying in, in a thousand, if you're flying in a rack worth of clothes, I right. think you should. But you never know, man. His mom could have bought him that flight, you know. <laughs> Say again. I said his mom could have bought him that flight. You never know. <laughs> yeah, true, 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 true. You come see me, honey. He's like, God damn it, mommy bought me a spear flight. It's <laughs> funny. So funny. I mean, but, yeah. yeah. Every, everybody has their own their own shit going on, but I definitely felt like I didn't belong on that flight. But at the same time, you know, if you there's a difference between ego and pride. Like my ego knows I'm better than a spirit flight. But my pr- I don't have so much pride where I'm like fuck you peasants. You know what I'm saying? I'm like I'm here with yeah, you. Yeah, no, like I'll fly Spirit if that's the only option and like yeah. it made sense. But like it doesn't make sense most of the time. If I can fly a better flight at the same time, and I will, yeah. especially if it's not more than like a hundred dollars more. Which yeah, sounds super like whatever, bro. Money's just a fucking number. It's true. That's that's a whole. Tool. We got a lot of deep combos for next stream. But yeah, for real, bro. Yeah, bro. For real, I like that though. I like that. It gives it gives people insight into more than just like, here's how you make music. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm gonna play this song one more time, then I think it's a good time to log off. Yeah, let's do it. Let's run it back, and then we'll we'll cut it. Give it from the top. Boom. Honestly, you know what's funny is I uh, I started finding my voice in uh, at my house when I was just like walking around singing, but mm-hmm. I would sing like stuff about. So I th- I think this is really helpful for people that are like interested in figuring out like everyone finds their own way if they want to rap or whatever. But what worked for me is was just like 
first off ad living first like uh-huh. just to get the flow and then on top of that i would also rap about stuff that was like in front of me but i would do it around my house like with my dog i'd be like <laughs> yeah i got a fluffy dog in front of me he's yeah. bothering me so take some treats yeah. like <laughs> that kind of shit so yeah it's stupid and it's silly and it's hilarious but i honestly like i've gotten to the point of doing that i've done it for years i'm not even kidding mm. i've been probably singing about my dog in front of me for years but i think it's i love doing this is, 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 is anyway. it making you better as art honestly it has because i think that if you can if you can i, I would be hard pressed to find people that uh, that will sing at their house often and be comfortable like because if you can't be comfortable at your house you can't be comfortable anywhere so i think that that's kind of where it starts and that yeah. kind of goes back to what we were talking about and like being alone and being yourself like for me, it was a lot. It, it took a lot for me to get over like making music in front of people, like my mm. wife, even for example. Like when I when I was making music, I would like shut the door and I'd like only I'd like keep it low and I'd do it in my headphones because I'm like, oh, I don't want to like listen to it unfinished. I'd be really weird about it. But then like the more I realized, it's like just being myself. Like, oh, you're a person that's learning to produce. It's not going to be perfect. And I was like, oh, okay. And the more that I leaned into that, the more people were like, yo, that's cool. You sound ridiculous, but all right. <laughs> so, yeah, but no, yeah, it man. definitely that was like, sick, dude. Thank you, bro. Um, what's it called? It took, or it helped that I was able to be the engineer, because I get like when we when we moved into this house, right? This was like my introduction into really like in person collaborating. It was prior, mm-hmm. you know, I'm in the old crib. I'm recording out of my closet. Nobody really knows I do music and shit. So I'm able to kind of, I'm able to record other people first a little bit. So I get to like sit here and be your judger. So then when I get up and do it, I feel a little less anxious um, because everybody, everybody else has done it. Um, And I kind of, it came from a mix of that. Um, and a couple other things kind of like showing people the ropes in terms of how to do certain things and just very like you know what realistically that's super insightful though really yeah realistically i think a large part of my life like mostly to do with playing sports at a young age was like learning how to do things when you're scared and nervous mm, you know reacting like, under, or, right like not you, reacting uh being proactive under pressure you can feel these butterflies and shit, but like you still got to go win you know Mm, damn that's powerful yeah so that's definitely where it came from that's awesome though i mean yeah being able to do things even when you're when you are like afraid or if you're like have fear or whatever you want to call it like you're scared like dude even people i guarantee you and i can tell you for a fact that most like performers and people that do things in front of people it it's still there's still moments where you're like, ah, oh, God, this is like I still have moments where I go to perform and I'm like, oh my God, this is intense. But then I just remind myself, I'm like, dude, I've done this so long. I just need to honestly, I just I just need to play Xbox when that happens. You <laughs> just get distracted. Xbox mind. calms your nerves a little bit. It does. It like literally before I go out and play, I'll hop on Xbox because it it, it makes it feel like Xbox is like a comfort zone for me because I use or like to talk to like my brothers and my mm. cousins because we all play uh, Call of Duty together. It's more of like a hangout, like VCs, like Discord and yeah, stuff yeah. than it is like playing games. Like I wouldn't consider myself like an epic gamer, but I like to play games while I talk to my, my friends. So. That makes sense. That makes sense. I think that's a lot of people though. Yeah. 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 For sure. I mean, in a world where we're so separated, it's, it's another way to stay connected. So yeah. <laughs> that sounded like yeah. a slogan. <laughs> You can love people. Like, so <laughs> in a world. <laughs> Imagine that's the spirit slogan. <laughs> in a world where we're separated, it's another way to stay connected. Oh my god, that's a new spirit. <laughs> Fuck spirit. And then, anyway. and then there's right, just like gonna, there's like a, end on that note. <laughs> there's a one liner at the end is like only when you gotta. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's the tag right there. Spirit, <laughs> only when you gotta. <laughs> uh, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> All right, that's it, man. Don't tell.